might not be from Krypton, but he's heads above the rest. His knowledge can't be questioned. You can put it to the test. So if you want to hear the truth and have nowhere else to go, I'll give you the solution. Just tune into his show and just kneel before Zai. And welcome everybody back to the channel. It is the most earth breaking ground shaking, but never media show money taking the man, the myth, the legend, the most electrifying villain in YouTube ev entertainment today. General Zod, and today, first off, wanted to say thank you for everyone who came to my stream uh, this morning. I don't know if I'll put this video out tonight or tomorrow, but in any case, thank you for coming to that stream. Uh, I had a great time. So let's jump right into this, this article right here. Now, I have no clue who Perez Hilton was till I started researching him, and apparently he originally fell on the side of... Amber Heard, and then he released a video after the tapes came out and uh, apologized publicly on YouTube and started digging into this. And apparently, he's found some interesting stuff. So, I want to read to you guys this article about uh, the money, and there's more things that are coming out. And my goodness, this is let's just let's just leave this. It says Perez Hilton reacts to Amber Heard reportedly stealing seven million. Depp's legal team is working to ensure the missing seven million meant for the Children's Hospital and Los Angeles Foundation or the ACLU is donated. So there he is right there. Uh, Perez Hilton is keeping his readers in the loop. He's got a magazine and the latest news on Amber Heard and Johnny Depp's legal uh, quarrels in a recent news. Uh, Herds allegedly kept seven million that she claimed went to charity. He went into the minute details with receipts on his pop culture website. Uh, if this if this allegation is true, it is unbelievably horrendous. According to Hilton's article, Depp's legal team is working to ensure the missing seven million meant for the Children's Hospital. Uh, Los Angeles Foundation and uh, AC, uh, ACLU is donated. He pointed out, however, that over rights over the documents that would prove suggested dishonesty might be difficult to get a hold of. Uh, and I've read several other articles. This is an issue uh, unless they court subpoena the documents, which they've been fighting for some strange reason. Uh, it's hard to get this exact figures because these are um, donated funds and there's a bunch of legal stuff behind it. Hilton wrote, the ACLU has refused to cooperate with any subpoenas and considering how much collective legal experience that group has, it remains impenetrable. But the Children's Hospital, well, it appears they've been trying to figure out where the money is all this time too and uh there's a deadline article i want to cover where the children's hospital has come out and they released a statement saying uh how they had sent a letter to amber asking her when she was going to continue to fulfill the rest of her obligation <laughs> wow daily mail was also cited in the piece for claims that the Children Hospital had only received a hundred thousand out of the promised seven million, the commentator continued, "The hundred k was signed by Johnny Depp, who offered it at the time to send the entire sum directly to charities in Amber's name, an offer she and her legal team rejected." So let's let's just read that for a second. A 100K check was signed by Johnny Depp, who offered it at the time to send the entire sum directly to charities. He had offered to just send the settlement to the charity instead of her, but the legal team rejected it. Vague responses from Amber Heard. With the receipts in mind, Heard's legal team acknowledged that it is in fact true the money has not been fully donated 
Hilton included Heard's attorney, Elena Carson uh, Bena, Benoff, uh, ensured the donations would be made full and blamed Depp in the process. Uh, so, oops, did a little, did a little, uh, picture mojo there. Uh, so let's go back here a little bit. So, uh, the public is now more furious with her and they were before this news came to light. If the missing cash has slipped through the cracks, it's likely the donation would, uh, have never been carried out. One of Hilton's readers commented under an Instagram post, I mean, they both are both off the rails, but we were blinded by her allegations. But after the tapes, she admitted to saying no one would believe him. That's awful. Trash. Just trash. Another said she didn't, she don't have her own money from her crappy acting jobs. Literally, you are leeching off innocent, caring human beings. The effort to save face during court proceedings has fallen flat, and two charitable organizations are cross in the crossfire. So, this person, and I, I went onto their website, and you can check it out, um, they have uncovered some stuff. The, um, the Children's Hospital has come forward wanting to know what's going on. The ACLU, however, has been uh, very closed about the amount of money exactly that they got. And Depp uh, donated the 100 k So the 100 k that Amber claimed that she donated wasn't even donated by her. It was donated by Johnny Depp. So the original reports that I reported to you in that article were actually false because now this person has uncovered that Johnny Depp had donated that hundred thousand. So Amber hasn't donated a single cent. She's not donated any of her own money or the settlement money at all. And this is shocking. This brings to light a whole bunch of new issues. And uh, this destroys the UK court case. Totally. So in the comments below, let me know. What do you think about all of this? Um, I appreciate the comments. I answer everyone back. And I want to know, guys, like, this could be one of the biggest huge cogs. We could be seeing the beginning of the end for Amber Heard's whole defense before she gets to Virginia. So in the comments below, let me know. What do you think? Um, are you mad? Are you not mad? Um just let me know all of your feelings. I'll cite or I'll link this article in this description so you guys can read this article. There's also a link to Perez Hilton's website from here so that you can get into that and see what this guy has dug up because I went on the website and I might cover some stuff in videos. He's dug up a lot of stuff and talked to uh, the Children's Hospital directly. The ACLU is still refusing to talk to anyone during this. So. Uh, thank you, everybody, and as always, remember, kneel before Zod.